Hey guys, it's Senya. So today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial and show you how to get this really warm toned, probably really out of season makeup look. Um, but if you want to know how I did it, please keep on watching. So first we're going to start off with a clean face. So then we're going to go in with the Clinique Pep Start Hydro Blur Moisturizer and I like to use this as a primer because it works really well at really covering your skin and covering those pores. Then we're going to go in with the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. And I am in the shade Cool Beige, but I just put it on the bottom of a beauty blender and I bounce it in. And I also like to keep my foundation pretty light so I don't go too heavy with it. And then I'm just going to drag it down the neck and really blend it in. Then we're going to go in with the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Super Concealer and I am in the shade Very Fair and this is really nice because I have really dry under eyes and this really works with keeping it moisturized. And then I just take the Beauty Blender and I blend it on. And then we're going to go in with the e.l.f. Sunkissed Bronzer. I'm using this bronzer because I really wanted something with glitter in it to add some shine because we're going for a really, really shiny look. And then over that I'm going to take the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder Duo and I'm using this just to kind of make my contour really stand out. And I also take this and blend it under my neck and really get rid of my ugly double chin. And then taking the e.l.f. blush in the shade Blushing, this blush also has some shimmer in it. I'm just going in on my face right over the contour and just blending it all out. And then I'm taking the original Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion just to add a base for the eyeshadow. And then taking a fluffy brush, I'm going to set my under eye with the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. Going in with another e.l.f. product, I'm going to take my Beauty Blender and use the Sheer Setting Powder just to bake my face. Then I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Perfect Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown and I'm just going to fill in my brows. As you can tell, I have really unruly brows and they kind of control my life, but I kind of let them. I don't really trim them all that much. And then to set my brows in place, I'm using the Ulta Beauty Brow Gel. Using the Modern Renaissance Anastasia palette, I'm using the shade Tempura and I'm just going to place it all over the lid. Going in with my brand new Morphe palette, this is the 3502, I'm going to go in with the shade Orb and blend it into my crease just as a starting color. I'm going to take that under the eye as well. And then taking the shade Risky, I'm going to blend it right over the color that I just placed. Then using a fluffy brush to blend it all out. And then using the shade Chestnut, I'm going to blend this right below my crease.
I'm using chestnut again and blending it under my eye as well. And then going right down the line, I'm using the shade Brave and patting it into my outer lid. I'm using my blending brush again to just blend my shadow outward. Using the same brush, I'm going to use the shade Halo and pat that right onto the color we just used. And then using the shade Polished, I'm going to wet the brush and then pat it right next to the inner color, working our way in. I'm also going to blend that right under the eye, keeping it near the outer corner. And then using the shade Bronzy, I'm going to again wet the color with the same brush because I really want to get a nice fade going on and put that right next to the color. And again, putting it under the eye. Wetting my brush again, I'm taking the shade Pure and putting it right in the inner corner. Going back to the Anastasia palette, I'm taking the shade Vermeer and putting it on my inner corner just to highlight the whole area, and I'm going big with this. I'm also using Vermeer to highlight my brow bone. And then using the same brush, I'm going to use Primavera and pat that closer into my inner eye. Then taking a fluffy brush, I'm just going to brush away the baking powder. Using Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder in the shade Transparent, I'm just going to brush that over my T-zone and my neck. Using the Fenty Beauty highlighter in the shade Hesla Baby, I'm going to put that right on my cheekbones and over my brow. And then some on my nose, under my chin, and then I'm going to take a smaller brush and brush that over my top lip. And then I'm going to set my face using the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. And then after that dries, I'm going to go in and curl my lashes. Using Buxom's Mascara in the shade Blackest Black, I'm going to use that and double coat my eyelids both on the top and the bottom. And then I'm taking a Kylie Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipstick from the Coco Collection in the shade Clo Money and putting that all over my lips. And then finishing the look off, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Lip Gloss. And there we go, that's the completed look. And there you guys go, that is how I did it. It took me forever, but <laughs> it's okay. Um, I have some more videos to film for you guys, so that's what I'm gonna do, that's what I'm gonna spend my day. But again, thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. And if you liked it, please like and subscribe for more content. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.